Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at the Professional Cloud Architect Sample Case Study, Terum Earth, today. The business agility is automatical for Terum Earth. It also mentioned the lack of the skills to undergo the, to the next wave of the transformation. This is related to the culture change during public cloud adoption such as how to change the management team's mindset and what kind of training plan will be so the team is ready for public cloud adoption. Those should be included in the migration plan. Please check my previous video on dress for win case study on how to make a migration plan and how to move towards the DevOps model. In this video, I will show you how to perform architectural refactoring on this case study. Please subscribe my channel and active the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. Are you ready? Pause the video if you need more time to read the case study. I draw the existing technical environment with a lucid chart. The same tool I used to draw Mount Kirk Games architecture diagram. You can check that video for more details. Let's take a look at the current on-prem environment. The existing technical environment resides in the U.S. West Data Center. There are 20 million steel vehicles. Their data are stored locally. Collect 120 fields of data per second. The data is downloaded via a maintenance port. Data is three weeks delayed. Costs wait up to two, four weeks for their replacement parts. Another 200k vehicles are connected to a cellular network. Data collected directly, 120 fields of data per second, 22 hours of operation per day, with a total of about 9 terabytes per day from those cellular vehicles. Then the data ingested through Python application is the wide FTP from the stale vehicles, GZIP CSV files, or real-time messaging from a cellular vehicle's direct data collection. Python application does the ETL and write the data into a single Postgres SQL Server data warehouse with a total of 24 terabytes. Then two analysts of a team of 10 to run daily report to see what equipment needs repair. Now let's base on business requirements and the technical requirements to refact the architecture for cloud adoption. Google Cloud provides cloud IoT data analytics and machine learning architecture. Let's use this architecture to refact the on-prem environment. First, you need to convert all vehicles to cellular and use cloud IoT core to handle the front end. Cloud IoT Core is a fully managed service to easily and securely collect, manage, and ingest data from global dispersed devices. It establishes two-way communication with your devices, so it will be decreased the way up time. Then Cloud IoT Core uses Cloud PubSub for real-time messaging to ingest the data into Cloud Dataflow for real-time data processing. Next, using a multi-region BigQuery to replace the single PostgreSQL data warehouse not only decreases latency but also improves the availability and durability. The recovery and fill over process is managed by BigQuery. Integrate BigQuery with the Data Lab or the AI platform as needed to train any ML models to anticipate the customer needs. Please check my video last minute cheat sheet of Google Cloud Machine Learning on BigQuery ML, AutoML, and Google Print Trained models. The last one, replace the reporting application by using BigQuery data with the Google Data Studio or Partner BI tools for visual analytics and dashboarding.
Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.